Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to block devices from your network using the SelfishNet software. If someone's slowing down your internet or you just want to cut off a device, SelfishNet makes it super easy. Let's dive in and get started. First, let's grab SelfishNet. You can find the download link in the description below. You'll also need WinPCAP installed for SelfishNet to function properly, and I've included the link for that as well. Download SelfishNet and extract the zip file. Next, install WinPCAP. After installing WinPCAP, restart your PC. Now, right-click on SelfishNet.x and select Run as Administrator. Remember, it's important to run SelfishNet as an administrator, or it won't work properly. When the Network Interface Card Selection prompt appears, choose the Network Interface Card that you are using, then click OK. Next, click the Network Discovery icon to scan and view all the devices connected to your network. Each device will be displayed with its IP address, MAC address, and current download and upload speeds. But today, we're focusing on the most useful feature, blocking devices. To block a device, all you need to do is find it in the list. Then check the block box next to it. Once you've selected the devices you want to block, click the lightning bolt icon at the top to apply the changes. And that's it. The device is instantly blocked from accessing your network. Let's check the blocked device. As you can see, it no longer has an internet connection. If you want to allow the device back on the network, click the stop icon, uncheck the block box, and then click the lightning bolt icon again to apply the changes. The device will immediately regain access. So that's how you can use SelfishNet to block devices on your network. It's simple and fast, and the block takes effect right away. Just remember that this method will only work while your computer running SelfishNet is turned on. If you turn off the computer, the block will stop working until you turn it back on and reapply the settings. One last thing to keep in mind, while the blocking feature is super effective, the bandwidth limiter or cap feature isn't very reliable. In most cases, it doesn't work as expected. So, if you're using SelfishNet, the blocking option is your best bet for managing your network. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tutorials. Have any questions? Drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next video.